Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to download Windows 7 ISO so that you can reinstall Windows 7 on your Dell PC. Uh, this ISO is really helpful in case you destroyed your recovery partition or somehow you lost your CD with the Windows installation. I just want to help you. So we will go to heydoc.net. Then we're going to click here Microsoft Windows and Office ISO download tool. After that, we're going to hear, go here to this download link. We're going to press keep. Uh, let's open up a program. Okay, we're going to go to whatever Windows version you have. In this case, I have Windows 7. Now we're going to select our edition. We have an OEM key, so we will start with Windows 7 SP1 right here. Uh, and I have the professional edition, so this is going to be Windows 7 Professional SP1 C O E M. Click that and press confirm. Alright, select the product language, it's going to be English. And then confirm again. And I will be installing the 64 bit version, so let's click the 64 bit download. It says here, do I want to open the ISO or save it? I am going to save it. And I'm going to add it on my desktop. Okay, and now we wait. I'll be back when this download is finished. Okay, so now that the download is complete, we're going to close this dialog box down. We're just going to exit hideoc.net. We're going to go to Google and we're going to search for this Windows USB DVD download tool. This one we're going to scroll down to the installation installation section and we're going to click here which says open. Okay, we're going to click download. Now that this has finished downloading, we're going to install it. We click Next, Install. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to insert my flash drive. I'm using a micro SD card with a USB adapter. Alright, I'm going to note the letter. This is a drive F. Now I'm gonna open the USB utility. Look for USB. There we go. Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Click that and press yes. Alright, so now I'm gonna look for my ISO. I know I put it on my desktop and it's right here. Windows 7 Pro. Open that and you click next. I'm gonna choose a media type. This is gonna be a USB device. Here and already auto selected my flash drive, which is correct. I'm gonna begin the copying. Okay, it's gonna erase it, it's all good. Let it format it. Yep, doesn't matter. Okay, and now it's copying the ISO files into the flash drive. Another method you could use would be just to extract the ISO files and copy them manually into um, into the flash drive. But uh, this method works fine. All right, I'll come back when this process is finished. Okay, so now that this is done, I keep on getting an error here that it can't run a boot sector. But uh, let's ignore that for now and let's. Look at our 
USB drive. So go in here. All right, and I see a boot partition here. Uh, uh, sorry, a uh, boot folder here. Uh, I think that should be enough. So go ahead and try to install it and see what happens. 